I told you it was one take. <laughs> All right, hey guys. We're in Blue now today with uh, with Kayo from the Kombucha Number One, and we're going to be doing a titration today. Um, so a lot of people are asking me how to do a titration, and there's a lot of different ways of doing it. There's a lot of inexpensive instruments you can you can do it with, but you can also do it kind of bootstrap style. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So what do you need? Um, first of all, we need some kombucha. That's what we're going to be titrating. I've degassed it. So to degas it, you're just pouring it back and forth a dozen times or so, and then you can taste it. And if there's no many, not many or barely any bubbles left, then you've degassed it. Why are we degassing it? Because CO2 is an acid. If we're doing a titration today, so we're determining how much, how many grams of acid are in our product, and um, we need to take out the CO2 so that we're not titrating that. What else do we need? pH meter. People use phenolphthalein, but I prefer a pH meter. It doesn't even need to be a very precise pH meter. Um, we're using one that's only one decimal after, uh, so it's like 1.1 1 .1 or like 7.1, but not 7.01, so just one decimal today. What else do we need? We need a scale. So I like this, this type of scale, a scale with uh, at least one decimal point in grams that's relatively precise. Um, we're gonna need some water. This is just regular water, ideally distilled water. And then some NaOH. So some NaOH that we just made here. Um, 0 0.1 normality. So, where do we start? Oh, over here's, here's what I'm missing. Um, and a pipette. So the pipette uh, can be used to measure exactly how much you're putting in. In this case, we're just using it to, to pull the NaOH in the water. So, uh, what, uh, what flavor are we, uh, are we titrating today, Kayo? We are using like um, um, grape, and that's it. Okay. The grape. It's your grape kombucha. Is this, yes. a, this is a new one on the market, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, so um, so the way I do it is by weight. So we're going to weigh the container, so the cup, and then we're going to be adding a little bit of kombucha, a little bit of water, and then uh, adding NaOH until we get a pH of 8.2. So there's different, different uh, schools of thought. Some people titrate till 7, some people titrate till 8.2, depending on what you're doing. But we're, gonna, we're going to titrate to 8.2. So. Uh, we just we've just calibrated the pH meter, so um, Kayo, you just did that right, perfect. And so uh, I keep some water around. So this also is in water right now, and there's water here. Um, so let's get started. So start with the cup. Let's weigh the cup. Four point two grams. So four point two grams. And then we're gonna put in some kombucha. I usually like to put about, about 20, 20 grams of kombucha, 20 milliliters of kombucha, which in this case is gonna be more or less uh, 20 grams. Okay, 21 grams, so we're gonna write that down as well. 21.0, no, 21.3. And then water. So why do we put the water? The water is so that we can put the NaOH uh, and have the electrode of the pH meter be completely submerged in the water. Um, and so... It's, um, it's moving around. It's moving around a little bit. Yeah. 20, 23.1. Oh, it keeps on going up. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's make, right. let's make believe it's not going up. Okay. <laughs> so uh, now we're going to tar it. And we're going to measure how much water we're putting. So. Let's put 52.6, 52.6 milliliters of water. I'll usually put between 40 and 60. Now, we take it off the scale, turn off the scale, um, and now we have the total weight of this. We know exactly how much it weighs, and we're just gonna add NaOH into it until we get a pH of 8.2. Now, there's a lot of different ways of doing it. You can get these fancy little things that, that will hold it over, uh, or you can just do like this. This is what I do. Pull it up like this, and then just shake it. You shake, shake your bone too while you do it. You, you know, in the lab sometimes it gets lonely, so you need to play some music too. So it's normal to be able to dance while you're doing this. P people won't judge you. They already think you're weird for making kombucha, so. So might as well just, just take it, <laughs> just enjoy it. Okay, so I'm adding some, it's at 3.7, 3.9, and as you get closer to 8.2, you actually have to put less and less of this sodium hydroxide, this NaOH, to get to, um, to get to 
basically the, the it's going to go up faster and faster for the same amount of sodium hydroxide you're putting. So you can go slowly. Now, we're just adding this. We're not going to be editing this, so I'm just going to go a little bit faster than I would normally. All right, 4.8, 5.0, 5.1. So this is where it starts to get really quick. One drop might change a lot at this point, so 5.1. How's your day, guy? Was good. Good. Yeah, mine too. We got some sun today, finally. Yeah. But it's still kind of cloudy, huh? Yeah. Next time I come down to Brazil, I would appreciate it if it was sunny. <laughs> okay, so we're at six. So we can see actually, if you have, uh, depending on what your, depending on what color, what flavor you have, there are actually some natural color indicators that are gonna make it so that your kombucha actually changes color around where you're at, so actually it's turning green right now, you yeah. see? So you can use that as, actually, as a, 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 it's like a natural color indicator. You can use it as more or less of an index, an indicator of when you're reaching that. So let's see, we're at 7.3, I'm gonna put one more drop. And we're gonna be... That's going fast now. Yeah. 7.6. And it's going 7.8. 8.1, just put one more drop, just to be sure. Okay. 8.2, one more drop. No, it looks like you're dropping something. It's gonna, you're not supposed to drop it. That's not part of the plan. Okay, we're at 8.2. So now, we can put this down. We'll put this right here. Just remember we have some sodium hydroxide in there. And then now we're gonna wait this entire thing. Total weight is 93.6 grams. Six grams. So, I have a little sheet that does the calculations for me and it'll tell me that, oh yeah, this is, I put points and they're supposed to be commas. And this will tell me my concentration. And if you want, in our next video, I'll show you how to do the calculations to get your total titratable acidity from this. Thanks.